Chancellor Steve Cardowney is festival's champion and we went to the city chambers to see what he's looking forward to in the festival this year. A busy time but a great time. I mean the buzz around the place is fantastic. I mean it started a couple of days ago with the build up in the high street here. Uh, but now the, the, the fringe is starting proper on the, today and Friday and it's just great. I mean every year I look forward to it. I never go on holiday in August because the world comes to Edinburgh and it's just too good to miss. There's so many different shows now. We've just finished off with the Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival which was hugely successful and I had the chance to go and see the animals and I also saw Jules Holland so it was fantastic. And now of course we're spoilt for choice. There's 2,300 different shows on at the fringe. Uh, the underbelly have got great shows on, the assembly rooms and the assembly itself, uh, the, up the Spiegel tent at uh, George Square. I mean, I'm just spoiled for choice. I mean, uh, you could spend all day, every day for the next uh, month going to all the shows if you wanted to. I was saying yesterday to someone that uh, when you come from Edinburgh, you kind of get blasé about this, but if you are a, a tourist and uh, you t walk into the high street from the bridges and you're confronted with this cacophony of noise and people running around and all their costumes and shouting, and the atmosphere is electric, I can't think of any other city in the world where you get this. We continue funding the festivals. Many local authorities throughout the UK cut back on their funding for cultural events. We think that's wrong. Not only does it bring money to the economy, that's not the most important part, but it is quite important to the local economy. But <laughs> it's the feel-good factor. The, the, the people of the city attend festival events and they attend the fringe. There's lots of free events uh, in the city now. There's events for children, and especially at a time of recession, that's very important as well, that people can go to these events and not be hit in the pocket for doing so. So, I mean, to us, it's important to fund the festivals for the festival's sake. However, there's no denying the money it brings to this city, the economy, the hotels, the shops, the restaurants, the bars, they are packed during the, the summer festivals and long may it continue.